Here we have our child component that holds a button which when clicked, will attempt to emit some data to a parent component. Notice the private property valid data, which includes the actual data we want to send. We are providing a layer of security by validating this data before it gets emitted through the validated data event emitter. The validation logic, which should prevent data tampering, is encapsulated within the private validate method. Currently, it returns true, indicating that the validation passed, but in a real scenario, you would implement more comprehensive checks here. If the validation fails, we simply log an error to the console. Let's focus on the validate method. This is where you'd implement the comprehensive validations, such as checking the data structure, type safety, or even using cryptographic techniques like digital signatures to ensure the integrity and authenticity of the data. This mechanism is crucial for secure applications as it prevents data tampering from the child component. On the receiving end, we have the parent component. The template includes the app child selector and utilizes Angular's event binding to listen for the validated data event. The onDataRecieved method is triggered when the event is emitted. Inside this method, we can perform additional checks as needed. For example, we could add further validation to recheck the data structure or integrity before processing it in the parent component, making the data handling even more secure. In this enhanced version of the onDataRecieved method, we've added an example of how to perform an additional validation check. The isDataValid method could implement other forms of validations or even call a service to validate the data against server-side logic or a schema. This level of redundancy in validation ensures that even if something were to slip past the child component's validations, the parent component acts as a second line of defense against any tainted data.